At four years old, Jeremiah is busy learning what many children his age are learning, animals and colors. Can we pick up the blue crayon and circle the bird? But Jeremiah has to work a little harder. Oh, awesome job. Good listening. Jeremiah has ASD, Autism Spectrum Disorder, and so at Easter Seals they offer him speech therapy and occupational therapy, which helps with his speech. With ASD, uh, sometimes they regress with the speech, and that's what he did. He regressed like around 18 months with his speech. He like completely, basically stopped talking. I think before he regressed, I only had heard Jeremiah say mom twice. Yeah, and after that, I didn't hear him say mom again. Knowing something was wrong, Britton A was proactive and had Jeremiah diagnosed. She received a list of local service providers. Easter Seals was the first place I called. It was the first place I called, and that's why I just stuck to it. When I went there for the initial evaluation, I fell in love with him. And they fell in love with him, too. Like, they were like, he has to be here. He has to stay, so he stayed. With Jeremiah, we primarily work on receptive language skills, so such as spatial concepts, such as in front of, behind. Jeremiah, can you put the boy in back of the house? Back. Where's in back of the house? Right here. Awesome job. And we also work on following two-step directions, one and two-step directions, so he can not only function in his environment, but communicate as well. Jeremiah is a bundle of energy and receives occupational therapy as well as speech therapy. These are fun lessons that help him learn to manage his world. Jeremiah, um, he has quite a few sensory issues, um, and a lot of those are, uh, he's a very picky eater, won't eat, he actually only eats things of a certain color, color scheme. He's tactile, what we call tactile defensive, so getting like messy on his hands is something he has a hard time tolerating. But Jeremiah isn't the only one receiving services. Easter Seals Crossroads also provides important help to his mom. Families like Jeremiah can benefit from our services by either engaging in individual services where we work one-on-one -on -one with the child, and then sometimes we also provide services to the family. Dr. Martin worked with me with behavior, and, and it helped a lot. It's like with his anxiety, sometimes the visual aids don't work. He would have meltdowns, and I, I couldn't control him at all, so she helped me with that. Mom! Mom. <laughs> He loves coming here, and that is one thing that works great for us. Everyone has seen Jeremiah's progress since coming to Easter Seals Crossroads. But now he, he can almost hold a conversation with you. He's doing very well. He has very much improved. Jeremiah's only been diagnosed a little bit over a year, and he made great progress. Actually, when I first evaluated Jeremiah, I believe it was almost a year ago, he was only imitating everything we said, and as months went by he just started developing and thriving in his speech so he's almost age appropriate now for as far as expressive language and saying what's on his mind who's chasing the fly a frog a frog good just seeing the growth of the children is what makes our job so rewarding and just having great families that work on the goals at home, it's just rewarding to see their hard work pay off as well. It's great that he is as young as he is and getting the services now because he's making so many of those gains. In a year or so, he's going to be going to kindergarten. Thanks to the love of family and the dedication of his service providers, this little boy, who loves to act out his favorite movies, has a very bright future before him. Our plan is for Jeremiah to start first grade not in any type of special ed classes. That's the, that's the hope. But some people, like when I tell them that he has autism, they're like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But it's not the end of the world. Don't be sorry, because it's, it's brought happiness to me that he is diagnosed. It's not the end of the world. He's gonna live a normal life.